Well, guys, you know what? I'm getting a little bit tired of in Minecraft, in my Minecraft survival world. Having crummy gear. I still have a default diamond sword, default diamond gear, not even a silk touch diamond pickaxe or diamond axe. I feel like, I feel like we should be going ahead and upgrading these things. And I think the best way that I've always found of getting really good gear is by going to the end, taking down the Ender Dragon, spending levels, and also exploring end cities. Do you know what I'm saying? We need to do that. And today, after I kill the Zumble, I'm going to be doing exactly that. So welcome back, guys. My name is Python, and this is another episode of my Minecraft survival series. We are taking a break from the building side of things, my friends, because we are going to be hopefully trying to take on the Ender Dragon. Now, let's just have a quick look at what we've got going here. So... Our bow is actually excellent. Look at this. I'm breaking three, power five, and flame. Now, one thing I did notice out of a stroke of luck is one of my villagers has an infinity trade. And by having an infinity book put on our bow right here, we don't even have to worry about trying to make ourselves a whole bunch of arrows. You know what I'm saying? So what we need to do is we need to try to find... The Enchanter. Aha! Are you, are, are you the dude? Are you the dude? Nope, you're a cartographer. Well, what's in here? Uh, not a whole bunch by the looks of it. Hey! Alright, so yeah, I'm actually going to be contributing to the villager economy. I feel, I feel absolutely excellent doing this, man. I really do. Right, what's going on in here? Oh, hello. Right, is it one of you two? Nope, Sharpness 2. You're a cartographer. Right, I'm pretty sure it was a named one. Hole. That's a cartographer as well. Dude, how many villagers in here are there? Oh, hello. Lamarack. Luck of the sea. You are not the dude. That That's a, that's a lot of... Th <laughs> Why is there so many villagers in this house? That's crazy. <laughs> but guys, guys, I've got excellent news. 1.12, the official update is now out. And guys, if you haven't already seen it, I have done another edition of Minecraft updates in a nutshell. You can go ahead and check out all of the 1.12 features in the video in the end cards. Not end cards, the information card on screen for you guys right now. Go ahead and check it out. It's well worth a watch. But yes, I think this is the guy actually. Oh, there he is. Yeah, look. Infinity for six emeralds. That is hella cheap. And I'm pretty sure... Huh. One paper lower than that, and he would have the best paper trade. 25 paper is a pretty darn good thing. There we go. I'm going to take some of that, and you are going to unlock stuff. Okay, fantastic. And you, my good sir, are going to give me an infinity book. Yeah, we looking good. Yeah, we are. Okay, right, what is going down? So, if we grab ourselves a bit of glass here, we can maybe see what his other book trades are. Grifflet. Uh, I'm hoping for something along the lines of mending. Lure 3 is, like, semi-decent. It's not the best in the world, but it's also, you know, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. I will give him that. I'm pretty sure I have some books to trade with him, actually, so I think we may do that. I want to see what his final trade is, and then, yeah, we will start prepping up. Our sword is probably our weakest asset at the moment. I would not mind trying to get some sort of enchantment on that, maybe a little bit of sharpness, something that would do more damage against the ender main. Uh, aha, perfect. Ten books. That is absolutely perfect. So, uh, right, I'll tell you what, while we're here as well... Let's grab ourselves some of this. Okay. And we'll head up here. Ha! Come on. Ha! What? What? That's weird. Sometimes it'll put me out on the block to the side, and then sometimes it just won't put me, like, anywhere that I need to go. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear, Mr. Horse. This kind of sucks. Right, where is this guy? Where, where did Grifflet go? Is he over here somewhere? Ah, oh, dang it. I think I lost him already. Well, I'm a terrible person. Right, let's go see what his final trade is anyway. Okay, please accept my 10 books and please offer me a mending book in return. That would be fantastic. 42 is going to give us... Wow, that is a really awful trade. 42 emeralds for Feather Falling 3? If that was more like 15 emeralds for Feather Falling 3, I'd be a lot more hyped because it means I'd have an easy way to get a Feather Falling 4 book, but... Uh... Yeah, that's not the greatest thing in the world, is it? Anyways, let's head over here. Uh, what are you going to give us today, my friend? It is... Oh! Okay. What if I... Oh, hello, buddy. You are a cartographer. What if I do this? 30 levels still. Okay. What if I do this? What is that going to give us now? Unbreaking 3. Dude, I would really like to have Sharpness 4. 
What's this? 28. Sharpness 3. Ah, oh, dude, sharpness 4 is so good. It really is. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to miss out on that. So I think, as far as I can remember, I've got a whole bunch of ores down in the storage area, which I need to smelt. And I imagine by stacking, stacking, by smelting some of those up, we should get 30 levels that way, yeah? Sounds like a good idea. So let's do that. Yeah, looky here. We've got ourselves a whole bunch of stacks of, ooh, that's a lot of stacks of stuff. Huh, nice one. I'll take that. I'll roll with it. And here we go, guys. I've literally just been sat here AFKing for all of these ingots to be smelted. There's 28 levels. There is 29 and a half. Uh, okay, I can now make gold blocks, even though I could already do that. Fantastic. And yeah, this stack here. There we go. 30 levels, guys. Fantastic. You see, that's the exact reason I left some ores. So I could... I actually didn't intend on doing that. But, you know, I'll just, I'll just go for it. I'll just go for it. So... Yeah, guys, we're about to get sharpness four on our sword, and we are also going to go ahead and put ourselves a bit of infinity on our bow. And ladies and gentlemen, I think that would just about do it in terms of things we need to take down the ender dragon. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what I need to get rid of. Ah, get rid. Thank you. All right, cool. Sharpness four. Uh, oh, nice. I'm breaking three and knockback two. It would be nice if looting was on there, but you know what? No complaints whatsoever coming from me from that. That is quite amazing, actually. Right, uh, do we have an anvil? anvil 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 I feel like I should have an anvil in here or something. Right, let's head up top. Is there even a slight... Oh, what the hell? I can't even get up my stairs. These guys are all in the way. What the hell? Yo! Oh, freaking dudes. What a deal. What a deal. Fantastic. All right, let's go downstairs. Let's find an anvil. Let's get some infinity going. And then I think... As far as I remember, I don't think I actually have any blaze rods, so I think I'm going to need to go to the nether, kill some blazes real quick, and then get some eyes of ender, and then from there, we can head over to potentially a stronghold. So, yeah. Alright, guys, let's get ourselves some infinity, huh? I've just thought of an expert name for this thing. Are you guys ready for this? Excalibo. <laughs> You like it? You like it? Gotta go with the theme of the names that we've got going on here, guys. Uh, you like it, Excalibo? <laughs> I think that's an excellent name. Mate, why did I not think of that before? That is seriously cool. Hey, Mr. Enderman. Give me your balls. Come on, man. Yeah, there we go. The more we get, the less we have to get when we get to the freaking stronghold, guys. Still, what the hell? That is scary. I... Whoa. Huh. That actually is kind of scary. Like, I'm just waiting for the block to update and for all the lava to flow down, blocking my way back. Mate, that's actually a bit nerve-wracking. <laughs> oh, man. You find stationary lava and it's just like, when is it going to kill me? I don't like this. Oh, man. All right, well, I'm still looking for a uh, another fortress thing, and, well, I, I haven't found one yet. I feel like I'm having the worst luck in the world right now, but I don't know. Ooh, guys, check it out. At long last, I found myself another fortress by the looks of it. Yep, I can see a blaze over there. Sweet. Guys, you don't even want to know how much time I've spent trying to look for another fortress and the toils and troubles that I have been through to get to this place here. I've got a lot of nether rack now, as you can see. Yeah, th things would... Oh, hello, there's an enderman in the nether. In the nether. <laughs> That's quite a rare spawn, actually. Cool, cool. Right, well, anyways, let's go ahead and make our way over there. I can't even remember, guys. Did we even find a nether fortress, like, the very first time we came to the nether here? I honestly can't remember. I really cannot remember. But uh, here we go. I think one more block along. And then we can maybe make a start. If I just hop down here real quick. Ow. I can maybe do a little bit of that. There we go. That might assist us. Huh, cool. All right. Let's head back up here. There we go. Th you see, the thing is, this is going to seem really like OCD, but I don't want to ruin like the terrain of the nether, which is why I'm being a bit particular about it. So yeah, so let's head down here and let's continue making this bridge. Okay, hopefully we won't die because that would be very embarrassing and I would lose all of my gear and thus all of my progress towards taking down the ender dragon. So yeah, we're, I'm not entirely sure if we're going to get the dragon done in today's episode simply because we're spending a bit of time doing a bit of prep work. So yeah, but uh, I, I certainly want to try and find myself the stronghold at the very, very least. I want to find out where exactly it is on this world 
And yeah, by doing that, uh, a terrible fortress. Oh, okay. So it even detects when you enter another fortress. That's pretty cool. All right, Excalibur, your first ever enemy kill. Ha boom! Get wrecked. Boom! Oh. My goodness me, he got destroyed. Okay, so there's a blaze rod. We're gonna... Oh, hello. There we go. Into fire. Hey, man, we're making ourselves some uh, some little bits of progress. Into fire. Relieve a blaze of its rod. A very OG achievement. Nice one. Okay, so uh, let's head over here. So that looks like... Oh, look. Again, again, look at this. A freaking stationary bit of lava. There is nothing more scary than a stationary bit of lava because there are any number of things that could update that block and thus make it start flowing. And if you're next to it, it could freaking kill you, man. Like, seriously, there are scary stuff or scary things in Minecraft, but, you know, still lava is among the scariest. Hey, buddy, go on. I need as many rods as I can get, and I guess, while we're here as well, I mean, I don't see a reason why we can't find the sheltered area and get myself a bunch of loot that way as well. So this is going to be like a bit of a an exploration looting episode, because, you know, you find loot in strongholds as well. So, you know, get ourselves double the loot, that'd be fantastic. Hey, buddy, get freaking destroyed. There you go. Right, oh no. Hey, buddy. Hi, how you doing? My name's Python. I'm going to be your killer for today. Please enjoy your death. Get wrecked. There you go. Brilliant. If I had looting, I would probably have uh, with the school right now, but pff, nah, we don't. Gosh darn it. Right, so I don't think there's much going on around here, so I'm using the torches to, you know, make a bit of a trail for myself. I hope that's a good way of doing things. It's a good way of not getting lost, I guess. Oh, hello. Hello there, sir. You there, you there, Mr. Mr. Wither Skeleton. Come over here with your stone sword. I have a I have a popsicle sword. And it's beautiful. It really is. And I hope you're going to enjoy it. Yeah, feel the wrath of my beautiful blade. Get destroyed. There you go. <laughs> Sweet! Alright guys, we're gonna continue. Aha! Blaze spawner! Hey buddies! I'm gonna kill y'all! Go on! I need all of your rods, sir. Mom thing, blazy thing. Uh, two. Wait, we didn't get a single one from that? Are you kidding? Wow, that's that's kind of bad, man. So, yeah, with uh, 10 ender pearls, you get two you get two blaze powders per time. So, we need at least five blaze rods. I'm probably going to farm out for a little bit more so we can maybe get some potion brewing stands going or something like that. So, yeah, let's just farm these guys out. And then, uh, once we have that, we'll start exploring the sheltered area, I guess. And there we go, guys. Five blaze rods equals ten blaze powder equals ten eyes of ender. I'm hoping that there's already got to be, like, two in portal frames like already filled in that would be fantastic hey buddy get wrecked there we go right the more we get the better because you know if we need to get ourselves some more ender pearls then you know pff, it wouldn't be that much of a hassle because we'll already have the blaze rods i guess all right guys so the good news is oh hello i found a blaze and also i found the sheltered area of the nether fortress here. Right, I'm just gonna go ahead and place this here. So yeah, as long as we find this torch and then we find this nether rack outside, we'll always know that this is going to be the way out. Okay, cool. So now that that is all established, we can find ourselves a chest. Hello, a couple bits of obsidian and a bit of horse armor. Do you know what? Not bad. And also, I, I got myself a, another blaze rod for me troubles. Fantastic. Hey, man, I'm pretty okay with that. So, uh, we've explored up there. That is actually technically the way out. Uh, there's another chest here with a diamondo. Hey, I love finding diamonds, man. There's just something so addictive about those beautiful, shiny rock buggers. You know what I'm saying? They're really nice. Hello. Right, what's going on here? There's a chest over there and not a lot of anything else. So... What are you going to have for me, good sir? Oh, hello. What is going on here? Hello. Hi. Wow, you just got knocked for miles, dude. Jesus. <laughs> wow. Hey, whoa. Oh, hey. There will be all sorts of stuff going on here. You're going to give me your head. Yes. Go on. Drop your head for me. Nope. Maybe not. Gosh darn it. Oh, hello. What? Ooh, there's all sorts. All sorts of stuff going on here, guys. Well, well, well. Double loot time, boys. What have we got? Gold chest plates and gold stuff. I'm probably going to smelt that down so I can get nuggets. At oh, what? Really? Wow, that's a really disappointing set of loot for both of them. <laughs> oh, man. Right, I think down here is the only place I haven't explored, and it doesn't go anywhere. 
Fantastic. Okay, right. Well, everything has been gotten. I don't need to farm anything else so, out in the nether. So, we can head back to the overworld, sort out our inventory, and then head out on our grand voyage to find a stronghold, guys. Let's get to it. Here we go, guys. I've just organized all of my inventory away, and as you can see, on the way back, I managed to get myself a few more ender pearls. So we've actually got 13 eyes of ender now, which guarantees us a full end portal frame. I've also gone ahead and cooked myself some baked potatoes. I've got myself a boat, and I don't know. Would this be a gamble? I mean, wait, do we have a silk touch pig? No, we don't. I was considering making an ender chest, but I don't think that would be a good idea because we don't have a silk touch pickaxe, which really kind of sucks. Hmm. And anyways, it, it would mean using up an eye of ender, which I would otherwise like to use for, you know, locating the stronghold. Uh, ha! Okay, so it's becoming daytime. So I've got food, I've got my infinity bow, I've got a good sword, a decent pickaxe. I think I'm just about ready to go. I've got myself a water bucket, of course. Yeah, I think I'm good to go, guys. Do I bring gunpowder with me? Because by bringing gunpowder with me, I can make myself... Do you know what? I can actually do that right now. I can make myself a bunch of firework rockets. So I, when it actually comes to me getting uh, an elytra or a pair of elytra, I can go ahead and just start flying immediately, you know? That'd be pretty cool. I think the easiest way to do that will be to head over to my AFK or fully automatic sugarcane farm. And then we go through that way. Hey, buddies. Hey, buddy. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. There you go. Fantastic. Well, let's head down here. Oh, wow. We got a lot of this stuff. <laughs> awesome. Okay, boys. We looking good here. Let's go ahead and see just how many we can make. Um, quite a lot is the answer to that question. <laughs> Holy crap. We really can make a lot. Okay. Yeah, over five stacks of freaking firework rockets, guys. <laughs> wow. Absolutely fantastic. All right, guys. Come on. Let's go ahead. Let's grab ourselves out everything. And we are going to throw our first ever Eye of Ender in the series in an attempt to find ourselves the stronghold. Let's see what we can find. All right, guys. Throwing our very first Eye of Ender in three, two, one. Boom. It is in a southern direction. Oh yeah, that's right, the 1.12 update brought along a whole bunch of new sounds. So there's like new sounds for when you use an Eye of Ender. That is so cool. Alright guys, well we've got to head in a southern direction and keep using these bad boys and see if we can't find ourselves a stronghold. Huh, well this is interesting. It decided to change direction, guys, and it started to go eastward. So I've actually managed to bump into my modern house project and all of this stuff here. <laughs> okay, cool. Cool. Right, where's the next one going? Over in this direction. Okay, cool. We have lost one of our eyes of ender now, guys. So we... Oh, wait, where is it? There it is. Ha! Fantastic. Okay, so we've got 12 eyes of ender left, which once again is a guaranteed end portal. Even if we go down to like 11 or 10, I'm kind of hoping that there's going to be some end portal frames already filled in. So let us continue on, folks. Well, guys, I am glad that I bought a boat with me because check this out. We are still on our way over to the stronghold and I've still actually managed to keep all 12 eyes of Ender, which is really quite something. And yeah, check this out. We found ourselves an ocean monument. Now, for those of you guys who are wondering why I'm so hyped about an ocean monument, sea lanterns. That is all I'm going to say on the matter. Sea lanterns. I love sea lanterns. They would fit in any modern build and especially with the modern project that we're doing I think uh, conquering that and maybe making a guardian farm out of it eventually would be a very very worthwhile thing to do Obviously, I'll need to link up a portal to it and all that kind of stuff The last time I made a guardian farm guys was on my very old Python Place Minecraft season 1 let's play and I gotta tell you, man, that took a long time. It took a long time. The question is, am I really ready to take on the massive task of another Guardian farm? I'm gonna say yes. I'm, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it in the series, okay? We're gonna go ahead and do that. We're going to take on another Ocean Monument, get another Guardian farm going, and as a result of that, we'll have infinite prismarine bricks and sea lanterns and all that fantastic stuff. So, yeah. But hey guys, check it out. We found ourselves some uh, solid land. Here might be a good idea to, you know, get ourselves another Eye of Ender throne. So let's just, like, dock up here real quick. 
And let's throw this out. And it's still going. It's still going, guys. Oh, no, we lost it. Don't it? Oh, man, that sucks. That sucks. But, guys, we're going to continue on. I wonder where this is going to take us, man. Hang on a minute. No! Are you kidding me? Yo, yeah, I've just continued in the direction I was going before, and this is a mushroom biome. Dude! This is awesome! <laughs> I was not expecting this! Wow! This is the first one I've found in a long time! Obviously, there's a whole bunch going on on the mine uh, Hermitcraft server, sorry. But holy crap, dudes! Look! We've got ourselves a mushroom biome on our Minecraft survival world! This is sweet! Okay, nice one. Uh, I think now might be a good a time as any to get ourselves another one of these thrown out. Hey there, mushrooms! Right, where's this going? Uh, okay, so it's going over that direction. Okay, thank you. Gave me that one back. Fantastic. Uh, so let's head over in this direction. Dude, is there even a slight possibility? Oh, hang on. So it's continuing to go that way. Uh, I don't know if I got that. Uh, can I like just... I might just... Ha! Huh, go up here. Did that drop? Aha! It did. Fantastic. Okay. Right. If there is even a slight possibility that the stronghold is in this biome here, we won't have to worry about mobs underground because for those of you guys who don't know, no hostile mobs at all ever spawn in mushroom biomes. Alright, here we go. Let's go here. Oh, it's going this way. Hey guys, I think we found it. I think we found it. It's somewhere down here. It has to be. Uh, let's go and pick up these mushrooms. Okay. And one more. Let's throw it out. It simply has to be down here. Right, I'm not throwing anymore. I think the time has come, ladies and gentlemen, to get the big dig going. That is right. We are digging down. We are hoping to find the stronghold. I, I, There's no reason why it shouldn't be here, right? I mean, come on. There we go. Let's just light it up so we know about it. And, uh, yeah, I think all we're going to do now is dig down a bit of a spiral staircase, I guess. And hopefully we should be able to find a stronghold. Oh my god, I can't believe this though, guys. <laughs> we found a mushroom biome and the stronghold is within the mushroom biome. That is some serious luck right there. We won't have to worry about mobs down there at all, apart from silverfish. Actually, I don't know, did silverfish still spawn? I mean, they spawn in the form of the, the sort of stone blocks, but I don't know if they'll... Huh, that's an interesting point, actually. Do the blocks count as hostile mobs? I have no idea. Anyways, let's continue digging down. Let's see what we can find. Oh, guys! Here it is! <gasps> Dude, this is so cool! I found it! I freaking found it! The stronghold is indeed in a mushroom biome. I spy! Ah, oh, man. I spy indeed. Right, okay. Uh, so maybe we can make a little mini staircase like here or something? Yeah? Sounds like a good idea, and then we can get out a little bit easier, huh? Right, so... Oh, that is uh, that is a monster egg. Hello! Right. Hi! How you doing? Huh! Yes! Right, the good news is, as long as you one-shot the silverfish, they will not spawn their cronies. Okay? Just a little... Just a little tip from the Pythonator for you guys. Right, what's going on up here? So, I should be able to just link this over here or something? Right? What? Why can I... Why can I not link that... Oh, it's there. I'm going completely the wrong direction. I need to go up here. I'm so stupid. What the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, man. I'm just so hyped, guys. I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped that we managed to find ourselves a stronghold in a mushroom biome. Like, that's just an unbelievable combo. It really is. Right. Now, then. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig out the doors. I'm going to light up the areas that uh, don't have anything in them. So anywhere where there's like a dead end or something, I'm going to go ahead and like board off or something. So yeah, so for example, there's nothing up here, although I will go ahead and light it up still. So let's just do that. And uh, then we can just block this off. There we go. So we don't wind up getting lost in future. Sweet. Okay. So logic would dictate therefore that uh, there may be something going on down here or something going down there. Okay, so let's go ahead and head down here, maybe. Uh, there's a chest. Oh, with diamonds and an enderpearl. 
brilliant. Hey, man, that's brilliant. I'm going to take the chest as well. Thank you very much. I much appreciate it there, Minecraft. <laughs> nice. All right, guys. I'll tell you what. While we're doing this, we can jump into the comment question of the video, which comes from Hello Cube. I actually think that having one of the other light designs for the lower walkway could be cool. That is in reference to the multiple light designs that I showed you guys in a previous episode of my creative world. And the lower walkway, of course, is in reference to my modern city type build thing. So, yeah. But to, yeah, in response to that, I think that'd be an excellent idea. You know, getting some different kinds of blocks, maybe implementing the, the leaf torch design. I think that'd be a really cool idea. Obviously, let me know what you guys think. But, uh, yeah, I think that'd be pretty cool. I don't see a reason why not. I mean, it'll be nice to add a bit of variation into the build. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I appreciate the suggestion there, buddy. Thank you very much. Uh, right, what is going down in Stronghold Town? Uh, that. That is going down. Hello. Right, let's mine this up and let's get you blocked off. Right, let's go ahead and find some cool things, guys. Uh, let's go down to let's go down to the library here guys. Let's see what kind of books we can get. So we're looking for enchanted books. Whoa. Depth Strider 2 Protection 3, Power 3, and Bane of Arthropods 4, Power 4, and 5 Protection 3. I'm going to take the books. I'm going to take the paper as well. I need to start chucking away some stuff though, guys, because we are not looking so hot in terms of inventory space right now. Let me tell you. All right, so let's put those lot away. Yep, that's looking pretty decent. Uh, there's lava there. And there's another chest back there. Right, uh, the ladder is here, connected to nothing, which is weird, to say the very least. Ha! Go on, get chucked off. Right, uh, what's in there? Smite 3. Not bad, man, not bad. Obviously, we take the books because we like to enchant them, and we take the paper because we can make firework rockets out of them. So, yeah, not bad. Not a bad little haul. Obviously, I could go ahead and dig all this up if I wanted to, and I probably will at a later date, but for now, I don't see a reason to do that. So, yes... Let's see if we can find the portal room, guys. That is my sole objective now. And obviously, let's not forget to actually explore the top end of this little room here. Aha! Right, what you got for me? Uh, coal, some of that, some of that, and... Oh, a Fortune 3 book! Hey, man, that's pretty cool! I'ma take that! There's no complaints coming from my mouth right here! <laughs> that's fantastic! Brilliant! Ooh! How about a dungeon for the Pythonator? That's pretty cool. Hello. Hi. Huh, can't spawn because of the lava. <laughs> what a dum dum. Hey man, I'll take the bucket. Uh, diamond horse armor. I mean, none of this stuff is really useful to us right now. So I'm going to go and say that uh, I I'm going to leave that stuff. Right. What? what? I, can hear a, I can hear a chicken. This is very strange. Uh, I don't think I'm going to need those. Those will be things I'll come back for, most likely. Uh, right. Dude, where is the portal room? I feel like I've been looking around for it for ages, dude. Right. Is this where I started? Is this where I started? There's a chest thing there. Huh. Maybe it's down here. Let's have a look. Hmm. I don't know, man. I feel like... Oh, hello. Is that another library? Wait. The, wait. Is this actually another library? No, I don't think it is. Wait, hang on a minute. Where's the where's the thing? If I go over here... No, this is the same one. Oh, dang it. I'm, I'm going around in freaking circles, guys. Oh, no. I'm lost. Oh. Okay. So this actually is a second library. Yeah, look at that. There's a whole bunch of books and paper here. Sweet. Hey, man. Come on. Come on. There's got to be some good books here. I am looking for Silk Touch in particular. Come on, Minecraft Stronghold. I have faith in you. I really do. I've got faith in you, buddy. Go on, what do you got? Lure 2. Ah, dang it. Ugh. Well, pff, pff, you think I care? You think I care about not getting Silk Touch? Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, man. Well, whatever. I don't really care. I just want to find a portal room, man. I feel like it's been ages, dude. What the hell? Ah. Uh, okay. I just come running through the door and boom. Diamonds in my face. <laughs> Hey, man, no complaints for me. <laughs> uh, well, random diamonds. I will take it. <gasps> yes, guys, I found it. Oh, yeah, boys. Let's go. Let's go. We got ourselves an end portal. Right, uh, any of the... Oh, hello. Hi. Hello. Where, where, where are you at? Uh, hello. Huh. Go on. Get wrecked. Yeah, what you gonna do there, brother? Right, are any- Oh, what? None of them are filled in? Are you kidding? 
You normally get like one or two of these filled in. <laughs> they make noises now. That's awesome. <laughs> but guys, we need one more bit of blaze powder. Are you actually kidding me right now? Oh man, this sucks a load of donkey ass. Hey man, I wouldn't have minded trying to make that portal today, but apparently not. Minecraft is like, nah mate, I'm not, I'm not gonna give you any assistance at all there, bro. Ah, oh, you suck. You suck. Alrighty guys, I think on that rather unsuccessful, unlucky note, I think we're gonna end this episode here, my friends. Next episode, we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves the final Eye of Ender. We're gonna hopefully take down the dragon, get ourselves a bunch of XP, and start raiding some end cities. If you guys are excited for that, if you guys have enjoyed this episode here, do be sure to leave a like rating, my friends. In fact, while I'm at it, on screen, I'm going to put a poll up for you guys. Do you enjoy these kinds of episodes where I'm just going ahead and exploring and combating and all that kind of stuff? Leave your vote in the in the, in the the thing, in the poll. Do you prefer, like, mining episodes or building episodes, exploring episodes or anything or like redstone episodes i don't know leave your responses in the poll guys and uh, yeah it'll be quite interesting to see what you guys come up with but yeah guys hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content and yes that is going to wrap it up thank you very much for watching guys i really do appreciate your continued support very much so and i'll see you guys in the next episode